Hello, so today we want to create an Exchange 2013 database availability group. Um, first we have to do some preparations. On our witness server we use the domain controller as a witness server here. Uh, we have to create a witness share for this here and we have to add the group exchange trusted subsystem to the local administrators on the witness server. So I show you here we have the exchange trusted subsystems group and we add it to the administrators on this server. Okay. After that we have to create a separate DAG network. So I show it here on the first exchange server. We have two networks. This is the normally MAPI network and this is the separate database ability group replication network. So we have given here a separate IP address room and take care not to register this addresses in DNS. So disable this. Okay, we have to do this on both exchange servers. So, okay, okay. I'll go back here. <coughs> After that, we have to uh, create a computer account for the cluster name object. So I show you here we have to we have created a computer account for the failover cluster and the computer account has to be disabled here. Uh, now we have to give this computer account full control. No, we have to give the cluster object the first member of the cluster net object full control on this computer account. So I show you here. We go on security and we add here object type computer account. We add our exchange server, our first exchange server here and give him uh, full control for this. Okay. So now we have to create the DAG. Preparations are uh, so far so good. <coughs> so we can edit here on the first server. So the witness server is our domain controller. the witness share so and we have to give an IP address here from the MAPI network so save okay and now uh, we can add uh, some members here Now we want to add uh, our both exchange servers. Okay. Save. <coughs> Here you have uh, time to get some coffee. S so I'm back now creation is ready close this okay here you see the both member servers our witness server okay and now we uh, can create the replication network so first we have to say here uh, 
we want to create our network manually okay here we can control the IP address it's okay so uh, create network manually <coughs> and now we add here the network and we add our replication network we have created okay save this so now you see here the replication network it's up and running okay here we have the MAPI network up and running uh, this is uh, some uh, replication network from created before so I delete this now okay uh, now what we have to do now we want to, to create a database and the database copy so we select the database add a new database one on our first server B okay save this need some time too so finished okay and now we uh, want to add a copy of this database on our second uh, exchange server so we click on more here but there is no um, point to add a copy so we click on refresh click on more add database copy and we add the other server okay and save this needs some time too so I pause this again okay copy is available now so here we see our database is active on exchange B and there is an app and copy on exchange A we can click on exchange A here and click on refresh and here we see the copy of the database so that's it goodbye